What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing great. This is a very, very, very good week in Red Dead Online. It's been a while since we had something this good and money wise, we've never had anything this good. So first off, we're going to show you right here. We're over at the camp. We're going to head over here to the trader table and we have a bonus on goods when you sell them. For local, it is $750. And for long distance, $939, almost $1,000. I think that's what, 1.5 uh, bonus? Uh, but man, that is freaking awesome. Um, these are always good, especially if you got Harriet. Do the legendary missions, fill up your hunting wagon if you have one, and just keep feeding that thing, man. A thousand dollars for long distance. I'm actually going to go with a short distance ones. Less likely to have them blown up because usually with these bonuses, there's people out blowing up the wagons and stuff. And it does it in there. Money bonuses are even better other places too. So we're going to check out those. But real quick in the quick join menu. I know a lot of people always ask about this. Go to quick join. Go on down and you will see on race series two times XP and nominated two times XP. This is where you pick the showdowns you wanna do. You have to create a social club account and go in there and then pick the ones you wanna do. Sometimes it's a little slow and stuff just because there's not a lot of people playing showdowns as much as it used to be, but you'll get two times XP on the ones you actually wanna play. Now, a really actual something I wasn't expecting this week. We have new Telegram missions. They are hardcore missions from the beginning, meaning that they are free aim, but they're in standard difficulty. Now, the only drawback of this is you only could do them solo. I don't know why Rockstar keeps doing this. This is a multiplayer game, an online game, but they keep giving us Telegram missions that are solo. But go ahead into your camp lockbox or the post office and go ahead and pick up the new Telegram missions. Then go to your satchel and go down to where it says a tough business. Now you're gonna have three different options of missions. Now the three different options of missions are in three different locations, of course. They're in Saint Denis, Coulter, and Armadillo. And you have about a 20 minute cooldown when you do them. So you can see I've already done one of the ones in this video, um, but it's Good and Dead, Cold Day in Hell, Frontier Justice. Look at the details on them, especially on Good and Dead. It describes what the guy looks like you're looking for. Don't don't skip that part. You really want to check that part out. But this is very cool. Again, I hate that it's solo, though. At least if you could do it in a four man posse, it would be cool just to pull the players together more instead of doing these solo side type missions. And guys, this is the other money bonus I was telling you about. 1.5 extra on sales of moonshine. So like if you have poison poppy moonshine, you can see right there it goes for $371. Very, very cool. Now that's the higher end stuff, but let's look at old Burt Higgins. He at least goes for $216. So I think he normally is like 144, but yeah, between trader and moonshine, just keep grinding that stuff out, letting them run back to back while you're doing the other, just running around a free room. You're gonna make a ton of freaking money doing this. Now, speaking of the Moonshiner roll, you have 30% off expansions, bar decor, and business upgrades at the Moonshine Shack. They're definitely gonna pay for themselves. You wanna get those different things, you wanna get the business upgrades and stuff, just so you can get more money for your Moonshine. It's gonna pay for itself. And to go along with the Moonshiner and Trader bonuses, select items of the Moonshiner are gonna have 30% off discount on those. There's more so more on the Trader, so check them out in the catalog. Also, those corresponding items that you can get over at Madame Nazar, go check those out as well as over there. There's a couple hats, rings, and stuff that have to do with the trader. And then also a little bit over there with the do with the Moonshiner as well. And also a great item for the trader is on discount this week is gonna help you make a ton of money. The hunting wagon is $525. Normally it's $875. Definitely buy that thing. You need it all the time anyway. But this week, it'll be as if you didn't even have to spend any money on it with the bonuses we're getting. And there is a little bit of clothing also that has a discount. Ponchos are 30% off. This also includes the ones over at Madame Nazar as well. So make sure to take advantage of that. And then if you head over to the barber shops, you'll see that there is facial hair and hair that goes along with the rolls that are on discount as well. Just throwing that little bit of extra to go along with the trader and moonshine. And there's a 30% discount on select racehorses, America's Standard Bread, Nakoda, and the Thoroughbred. They're all discounts on them. They're not really expensive horses, but there's a couple good solid ones in there. The American Standard Bread's a pretty decent horse. The other two I haven't really messed with, but 
of course, just a 30% discount, you know, a little bit here and there. It adds up after a while. So guys, that is all I could find in game. I checked over at Madame Mazar, except for some of the Trader Moonshine items I talked about. Gus has nothing going on, neither does Offense, neither does Harriet. There's no new Blood Money missions or anything like that. I double checked all that. Double checked to see if the Call to Arms difficulty changed. It didn't, but we have a lot of stuff to do just between the missions and honestly just grinding money out. I know a lot of new players are wanting that. Hopefully you guys have these roles to capitalize on this, but Guys, if you want to stay up to date with Red Dead Online, this is the last week for Outlaw Pass number three going into four. And then after that, it'll be Halloween. So if you want to stay up to date with that, make sure to hit the sub button and bell notification. And as always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.